all right everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in if you haven't already subscribed please do so now um, a lot of these older locations that you uh, might be looking at if you wanted to get into um, the food industry or whatever you're gonna get into you have to work on getting your your, your location up to code and sometimes you can hire a contractor um, and that person will be able to tell you off the probably off the top of his head and off of one look what needs to happen right so that's their job and they know they study the code and that's definitely the route you want to go if you can afford it but in our position right now we're really doing this um, on a really tight budget it's our second store we didn't have a really large budget to afford a contractor to do a design um, you know sometimes it's just not there so you can't just give up right so you want to keep going that's the main thing here you just want to keep the ball going in any way possible um, but you're not always gonna have enough money a lot of the times you got to do things yourself and that's what this whole thing is all about um, this is The FRP panels that have been cleaned off and they're 100% clean on the back now. So now they're ready to be glued. Where I've looked has been sold out of the FRP adhesive completely out. Yeah. So I'm using this as a substitute. It's I don't even know if it's going to work. Weld wood contact cement. So that's what I'm gonna try to use. Let's get into that. So first things first, this is the bathroom here. This is um, not a customer bathroom. This is a bathroom that's actually just for employees. <clears throat> but what's most important for this is that the, the glue actually bonds to this. So you wanna try a small portion and kinda of see if it's gonna work first before moving forward. So let's try that first. All right, so now we are ready. I got my FRP. I have a drywall that's kind of similar to the condition that uh, I have there. good sign it's it's holding though you can see the adhesive working there and you can kind of see the things so yeah pretty pretty 
happy with it. But let me double check this to make sure to see how it handles with moisture. So let's check that out next. Contact cement is resistant to the effects of water and most household cleaning agents. That tells me that it's resistant to water, which is great. All right, before I go any further, what I'm going to do is reread the directions and make sure that there's nothing that I missed. Also, I know that this these kind of wall panels move when they have heat applied or moisture. Usually it's heat. So if the heat occurs, this wall panel, this FRP panel, will actually kind of adjust and move. And I'm not sure if this contact cement is going to be able to withstand that. That's why I think they recommend using the FRP glue. And I know that the FRP glue is much thicker. The FRP glue... So the FRP glue will come in something that looks like this. Now this is used for bathtubs and bathrooms and things like that. So I already did do my research and I'm starting to get a little bit of knots in my stomach because it's nearing the time of applying the adhesive to the wall. So I'm just rereading things and second guessing things. And I did do my research already. What am I supposed to do? Buy like 10 of these? Like not even 10. Am I supposed to buy like 40 of these guys? Some of the threads I was, I've been reading um, from construction people are like, adhesive is adhesive most of the time. Um, like you could use construction adhesive and for this. There's so many different types of adhesives out there that it's really making it hard for people like me and maybe like you to make a decision on which product to use. I did try to get the FRP adhesive and I, it was sold out everywhere. So maybe it's stuck on ships, but what am I supposed to do? I, I think it's gonna work. I just know that it has to be able to withstand moisture. Like that's the biggest thing. So it's fiberglass reinforced with polyester. I'm not a construction guy. A lot of you guys are not gonna be construction guys, but you still wanna get your business off the ground. So what do you do? Um, you're supposed to call, maybe ask people, and these FRP panels are part of code, and they do need to be installed correctly. So it is important that you apply it and do it with the right material. Any adhesive, once you put a ton of steam on it, is going to end up coming off, right? You know, I'm gonna try it. So, I'm gonna try my best to replicate what it might be behind the sink. So we just applied about 10 seconds, but this is how wet it's gonna get. It's supposed to be protecting the drywall in the back. And I hope it works, because I don't think I can return paint. Let's see. So this part was already up. Dude, it's still freaking sticking. It's still sticking. It's a little loosened, but this part was already loose. I just have a three compartment sink, but you never know, right? There could be a shit ton of steam, so let's see. Right. 
it's still good. It's still good. It's still holding, guys. It's still holding on the wall. Like, look at that. That's pretty much what you want. I'm going to take it off. came off but look so this shows that that was bonded to that pretty well as you guys can see a lot of experimentation and these kinds of things just take time to learn and it's very frustrating at times because the clock is ticking you have a million other things to do but you're worried about frp panels and you don't know and you just you know that Biggie Smalls quote. If you don't know, now you know. I feel comfortable doing the contact cement, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow and I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something um, from my experiences and my failures. And hopefully you guys kind of have the patience and the determination and just will to keep going when you guys are confronted with things you don't know all you got to do is find out it takes time you got to breathe walk around a little bit but it's not impossible you just stick it through right that's all you got to do is stick it through once again my name is Jordan also known as Jay Brule that's my tag name but if you guys haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot I'd love to keep making these videos, even though it's just my fifth video. But, thank you for tuning in. Have a good night.